There's a Magic the Gathering set where more than half the cards are over 10 euro each. Someone recently told me that it's because the ship containing most of the Portal 3 Kingdom cards sank. But no, eh eh. The real story is that Wizards of the Coast wanted to break into the Asian market. In 1999, they released a rare Asia-themed set of cards that were not tournament legal, they featured a different dumbed-down rule set to enable new players, and had no artifacts, enchantments, or instants. Although the cards were only in Chinese and Japanese, they realized they were forgetting the Aussies and the Kiwis, poor Aussies and Kiwis, and made a teeny tiny print run of English versions of the cards. Given that there were less Australians and New Zealanders as there were people in Beijing alone, these are some of the rare printings in the game. And then five years later, Wizards was like, hey, why aren't these cards legal in Legacy? Let's make these cards legal in Legacy. And the desire for many of the cards in the set just shot up. The cheapest copy for an English Imperial Seal on card market was a thousand five hundred euro. And even now after they reprinted it, it's still 750. 